Uh, hello, uh, hello everyone. Uh, hope you are all doing great. So today we're going to look into the iris species protection system. Uh, iris is basically uh, a species of plants and it has three types: setosa, uh, versicolor, and virginica. It is a very famous data set uh, which was created and used by a scientist. I don't remember his name, but he used uh, he used it for his experiments. And there were three different types of species which he predicted. Uh, those were setosa, versicolor, and virginica. And they all had some features. So we are going to look into the data set. I will provide the link for the uh, data set in the description. Uh, you can get that from uh, Kegel. Uh, you can download it. And I have it, uh, downloaded it already here. So we are going to load it into the uh, Jupyter notebook. Of import pandas. Yes, we are going to import pandas so that we can uh, read the uh, data set and perform different functions on it. So the first thing is that we are going to uh, read the CSV file. Uh, which is iris dot csv right so if i check the head of it head is basically the first few columns so the first few rows of the data set so if i check it it has these uh, columns so it has the length then it had the width then in the the petal length and the petal width and then we have the species so species can be of three types so let me show you that just the data set has uh, three types of species uh, if i do something like this it will give me the unique values so uh, it will give me all the uh, unique values in this column so if i do this right so it has three as you can see setosa versicular and the virginica so based on this feature we are going to predict whether a plant is uh, either virginica versicul versicular or setosa so we are going to predict based on these features so uh, let me just check if we have any empty columns over here because th those will not be really helpful and that those will be a, li a little kind of a harmful for the machine learning algorithm so we don't have any so we can uh, continue with splitting the data so we're going to split the data into training and testing data sets you know that there's the first step of machine learning model training so the first step is uh, convert the um, uh, first step is to check all the uh, features and the target so all target is this one right we want to predict this one and these are all the features except the id because we are, we are not going to use that so these are all the features and this is the target so feature we are going to name it as the x and i'm going to write all of them over here uh, wait just let me uh, put quotes and commas in between those so basically i'm kind of selecting sub uh, subset of all the data frame if i check x uh, as you can see it has these columns only so the species and the id column is gone because we don't need them those are our, uh, the species column is our target so we are going to say uh, species so why we'll have one uh, series of uh, data which will have the three different types of uh, species of the plants so this is our target we want to predict it so then the next step is to split this data we have the we have separated the features and the uh, target and now we have to split the data as we as we know that there is the uh, as you may know that the sklearn or the scikit uh, library has their own built-in function called the train test split where we can uh, split the data into training and testing uh, data sets so we are going to perform that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say uh, the x train then we will have the x test then we will have the y train and then we will have the y test then we are going to say train test split and then i'm going to pass the features and the y is the target and then i'm going to uh, say that the test size test size should be 0 0.3 so 30 percent for the testing data and 70 percent for the uh, training data you can select anything over here but most of the time people select like 30 70 uh, and then we will have the random state so random state is basically uh, how we want to uh, select the data so you can give any number uh, people also give this one 101 so it's your choice there is nothing wrong with it uh, you can choose this basically is the iteration of the uh, select whenever the data is being selected it will be selected randomly based on these iterations so it will iterate 42 times or something like that so if i check the x train i have this data which is randomly selected as you can see here 75 71 106 14 and then if i check the uh, y train uh, in y train we also have random data selection right so now what i'm going to do is um i'm going to import a model for it so i'm going to import the uh logistic regression from the uh, model i think it's linear model if i'm not wrong 
logistic regression let me see yes it's log so logistic regression is why i'm using logistic regression so a uh, logistic regression is basically used for classification uh, what does that mean that means that uh, as we know that we have three different type of species right setosa versicolor and the virginica so uh, these are all the three uh, categories right and so for, for categories we cannot use the linear regression because that is used for continuous values like for example age weight prices or uh, maybe some areas and you know those kind of things that that change but these three they do not change they will remain same for one single plant right so a plant can either be this this or this so it cannot be so we cannot say that you know what a plant can be infinite type of species no they can be only from these three so logistic regression is basically used to uh, um, you know detect whether uh, something is true false yes no zero one or spam not spam and uh, so these kind of things so we are going to use it for detecting three different types of species so i'm going to declare an instance of it uh, logistic regression and then i'm going to fit or train it so this is basically training it and i'm going to pass the x train if i the check if the documentation as you can see that it takes the x and the y so the x train and the y train data as we uh, split it right here so we are passing it to it and then it will take some time and it has been trained uh, now what i can do is i can uh, take all the predictions from the model that the model has done and i would say model dot predict and i have this data called as x test which we are we we split it from the uh, from the main data as you can see here x test so we are going to pass it and then it's going to predict uh, the different types of species like x has if i check the x data let me just show you this is the x data so for each one of these rows it predicted this these values right so now how do we know if these values are correct or not so we can test it uh, how we are going to test it first of all let's uh, you know let's check the accuracy of this uh, model so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, import the um, different metrics from the sklearn learn and those are the uh, confusion matrix so classification report and the confusion matrix so i have a separate video on this which you can watch uh, but it's basically telling you what the accuracy of the model is and how many trues and false it predicted so i'm going to say classification report and then i'm going to pass as if i just hover over it it takes the true values mean the actual values and the predicted values so i have y test as the actual values and the predicted values are predictions right so if i uh, print it as we can see its accuracy is literally 100 percent so the only reason is why is because if i check the total rows of the um, iris data frame if i say info this this data set is so much correct as you can see it has only and only 150 which is very minimum kind of data it is literally uh, very low data but uh, it's that's why it's giving us like literally 100 percent accuracy but in uh, normal cases you won't have this much accuracy because uh, there will be a lot of uncertainties but the only reason it's giving us that the iris data set is uh, has been researched by uh, top individuals top scientists and that's why it's, it's totally accurate and uh, that's why it's giving us 100% accuracy. Anyways, so now I'm going to print the confusion matrix, whether it's true or false, whatever it gave us. So for the confusion matrix, I'm going to call it, then I'm going to say Y test, as we did before, and the predictions. So if I check it, as you can see that it's giving us all of the values as true. So if 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 had if it has given any values other than zero on these positions, like this one and this one, then we would say that you know what, there are some uncertainties or there are some errors in our uh, model but at the moment the diagonal is uh, non zeros so that means that it's the it's accuracy is very good so let's test it we will have a test data uh, for a plant test plant let's say and then i'm going to uh, use the features of that plant what are those features these are the four features of that plant so we can just you know place any values over here it doesn't matter whatever values we put it has to predict it so let's say n uh, I'm going to say the width is let's say 5.4, and then the petal length is let's say 3.4, and then the petal width is uh, let's say 6.9. So you can give any values, and then we are going to convert this uh, this test data into data frame because our um, our model does not accept raw dictionaries. So you have to convert it into a data frame, otherwise it won't accept it. So if I check the plant DF, it would be something one single row of data, as you can see, we provided above. Now if I say model dot 
predict so it will predict the species of based on these features right so it will predict the species out of the three species that i mentioned earlier so as you can see it predicted that the plant is this one right so uh, you know what let's check it on uh, some data that we already know uh, like for example as we can see here this data if if a plant has this data that means uh, sorry let me copy all of them if a plant has this data that means it's sitosa right let's check it so i'm going to change these values to um, there's a very lengthy process but you know what let's do it um, so i'm changing all these values to check whether the model is correct or not so we we should get the answer as sitosa right because that's what the real value of these uh, features is if a plant has these features it, it the its uh, species should, should be sitosa so let's check it as you can see it predicted correctly why because it has 100 percent accuracy so it has to predict accurate so this is basically the iris uh, plant detection system you can use the linear regression but for in order to use it you have to convert this into categories uh, sorry into uh, binary numbers like zero ones so you cannot use it plainly as the uh, strings so uh, the benefit of logistic regression is that you it can uh, you know process string values and object values so it's really helpful uh, and we don't need to convert the uh, categories and the targets into zeros and ones so this is basically the iris data set uh, species model system machine learning algorithm or model whatever you call it so that's basically it if you have any questions please let me know i will provide the code in the description and uh, yeah that's it thanks so much